I, I did learn in researching you, you talked about like studying comedians while in New York and like seeing someone like Chris Rock work out a bit from just yeah. saying it or reading it to mm -hmm. now seeing it on a special. Right. And you, you talked about being able to watch a comedian in the right way to actually study them. And what do you mean learn watch a comedian them. in the right way? Well, you would watch like a Richard Pryor and like Bill Cosby and actually right. be studying their moves as opposed to just listening for the joke. You're actually well, studying how they're funny. Well, you just pick up things from them. Mm -hmm. like, like I look at Richard Pryor and the first thing that stuck out to me more than anything was originality. Mm. And I was like, well, how, why is he original? Obviously because he's talking about his life. And then that led to me thinking that, you know, realizing probably for the first time or at an early age that every person is an individual and we've all been through even though we're all human and we're all connected we're all the same that we're all different mm. and then if you bring the different parts of you on stage then you won't be sound like everybody else so so that gave me the you know watching Richard Pryor because I can't do characters like he can but I can be myself like he he was. And so watching Richard Pryor taught me that. Also watching Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby taught me good storytelling and structure. Mm -hmm. And then I'd watch other comics and I see that they'd have one-liners. And then it was easy for me to write one-liners at first too. Like you, you just get a sentence like... Uh, or like if somebody, like there were comics that would like turn facts into jokes. Like I had a, like, so I just started trying to gather facts at first. Like, a, like one fact was like most car accidents happen within 10 miles of your home. And I'd be like, I haven't been in an accident in years. I just parked 20 miles from home. <laughs> you know, so you just you figure out a way, uh -huh. you know, like that. But then... You're like, shit, how many one-liners? I need 50 one-liners. Right. But then I realized, oh, you just take the topics and keep tagging them. You know what I mean? You just keep tagging them. And then, so, so like, I have a shark attack joke. That was just, it's a bit. If you see, it's a bit, but it was just one line at first. Hmm. So then I realized, let me just, there's, there's more meat on the bone. Just circle around it, study it, look at it. And what other thoughts come to my head? from looking at this one line or this one fact. Oh, let me find out some more shit about sharks. Let me let me let me uh watch the whole story on the news and find out more about the story. So the girls press conference. So then I kind of made jokes about the press conference and then oh, how I feel okay. about about what, what what I would do if I was her, what my reaction would be and then you just then it becomes a bit do you have a formula for surveying a topic where you're like, okay, let me hit it from the girl's angle. Let me explore it from my angle, maybe the news's angle. Like, do you have almost like a checklist you go through when doing that? Nah, like, like even like a, sometimes I turn a tweet into a bit. Okay. So then I just, sometimes you just come up with a joke. Sometimes you see the topic and then you, and you uh, figure out the joke. You know what I mean? But once you figure out the joke, you keep looking research the topic some more you can google stuff or some some words like you'll read a word in a, a paragraph and that stands out and it's like let me find more the meaning of that word mm -hmm. and then you just keep digging and then more shit comes out and then sometimes if i want to write a joke about a topic i'll just vomit i'll just let's write anything that comes out about don't even think about it just write anything that comes out about it and then in there will be something you clear out all it'll be something and then then you do it again on that something and you, there's something and you just add up come up with a bunch of shit and is that something a phrase or a single word phrase or? word anything uh -huh. yeah could be a slang word you know i have a joke about fuck boy you know mm -hmm. it's just a slang word you know and i just thought about how different that word meant something else when i was a kid or hmm. when I was younger, and what it means now, and then I made, made a joke about that, and it's in the special. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. And it's a whole bit. But it grew from you just free writing about fuckboy, finding some funny things with well, the Well, I was riffing. As a matter of fact, I was riffing with Jermaine Fowler, 
like somebody had called him fuckboy in a tweet. Oh, okay. And then he, he, we were at West Side Comedy Club in the green room, and uh, he, he read that off, and then, uh, then that just came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And w- will you take note when things pop up? How do you Sometimes, you know, yeah, I write it? stuff in my phone so I don't forget it. Like, uh-huh. I used to think I remember everything, and then after years of not writing <laughs> down anything and right. not having new material because I would write down everything or you mm-hmm. or you make the voice record message to yourself uh, now I have this thing where I just text to myself I'll do that too yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so you'll do free writing are there any other techniques you'll use in writing uh there's yeah I use all the techniques I'll stand in the mirror and go over shit and then because you're just by yourself you're freer to improvise you're not waiting for an audience to tell you that the joke is done mm-hmm. so you'll go further than you normally would in front of a bunch of people at least i do i'll sit down and write with a, either a pen or type uh conversations like when i first started when you, you mentioned about the burger king thing mm-hmm. uh when i first so once i decided i was going to do stand-up i realized where am i going to get material from so anything that i would say to somebody that was funny and they would laugh, I'd write that down, make a note of that okay. to use as a joke. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then start gathering material like that. Like I like I, I didn't want to waste anything, any idea. And then sometimes also when you're in the middle of doing nothing, like taking a shower, washing your car, or just doing like a task, material, or the fix for a joke, the patch for a joke would come. Oh, and then, okay. Yeah. Stuff you said, be sure to write it down. You have to be right down. Patch. Yeah, don't forget yeah. that patch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the success rate for a joke? I've interviewed comics on here who say like one out of twenty jokes they'll end up keeping. Hot breath.